Hello everybody, it is me, Ace Pilot 109 and Captain John, and today I'm going to be showing off my homemade scuba tank. Well everybody, today I'm going to be showing off my scuba tank, and the first part of this video will be the test, showing you, you know, it works, and then I'm going to do a little bit of an explanation. Uh, now, I have to say ahead of time that I've been working on the underwater scuba stuff for about a year and a half, and this is my second working prototype that is like this, and I have other versions, and I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I do know what I'm doing, and I have a spotter at all times when I'm testing out my equipment. So if you don't know what you're doing, please do not try this at all, because it can be very dangerous. So uh, other than that, let's get right into the test video and then the explanation. Good. So as you saw in the video, my scuba tank got 1 minute and 50 seconds about of air, which is actually pretty good for just two 2 liter bottles. So you might be wondering, how does the scuba tank work? Basically, this little nozzle here gets filled up by the bicycle pump, and the air gets into this bottle, runs through this pipe, through this T connector, into the other bottle, which does not have a connector. It is just connected to the other one. There is only one nozzle. Now, as it's going through here, it is also going to be pressurizing this line, which goes to my fancy ball valve, as you can see here. And this is the main valve that will open and close. So this entire system behind this valve is all pressurized. Now, when you open the valve, the air comes through and it comes into this mouthpiece that I borrowed from a snorkel. Now, the air can either go straight through here, or as it's coming through, you can breathe it in. Now, one of the biggest safety concerns with building a scuba tank is if you open the valve and you have the tube directly in your mouth and it forces all the air into it. And that is why you need a very nice and fancy regulator. But mine, it is simply traveling right out of here because there is a one-way rubber valve that only allows air to come out and not in. So by doing that, if you open this all the way while it's in your mouth, it'll simply just leave and it won't be forced into your lungs. But if you open it and suck it before it can get out of the tube, then you can get air. But you have to time it with the valve opening and closing. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you found it educational, useful, or entertaining, please be sure to help support my channel by liking and subscribing, and maybe sharing my videos with a friend. It really does help, and uh, as I teased in the last video, I have some very cool projects that are not all aviation-related coming very soon. Hint, hint, flamethrower, maybe? I don't know. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. Thanks, everybody.